game is actually like really amusing to me. It's really just out there. Huh, is that a student ID? Whose is it? How do birds carry a student? Or maybe they're really small? Someone from 2-2, not a name I recognize. Go find their classroom? Well, any teacher will do, right? Yay, we're going for the doctor. Good afternoon. What is it this time? And I thought maybe you'd know what to do with it. <laughs> Isn't that something for the staff room? Why bring it all the way here? It was closer. And they've started printing out tests in there already, so I'm not sure I can go in. There's no need for excuses, young lady. Leave it there and get out! Please. He's so mean. Wait, Miss Rarzar. Where did you find this? It was on the staircase between the first and second floors on the south side. It wouldn't do to have someone finding it and asking questions. I am indebted to you, Miss Rarzar. <laughs> this music is so fitting for this guy. He's really either evil or misunderstood. <laughs> Nothing you need to worry about. Please be careful on your way home. I might... You know, trip you and experiment on you. <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't like elective days. They're boring. But if we must, let's go to math class. Mr. Nanaki dozed off as usual. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. We got wisdom. Nobody fucking cares. What the fuck? Today's the school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. Bay. With men? I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Where to go, where to go. did they do to you? Wait, what's up, Ryuta? Are you free right now? We've got way more customers than expected. We could really use another waitress. Why are all the guys dressed up as what the fuck is this? You're right, where are they all coming from? Leave it to me, Ryuta. I'll give them a taste of my super maid technique. I will be a sexy maid. Oh yes. I will be the maid that gets paid in services. We're supposed to go into the infirmary today. Better hurry. Oh, where's the doctor? There he is. What is it? Where's S Sakazaki? Did he come yet? Won't be here today. Or tomorrow. Or the day after. Ho, ho, ho. Um, what do you... He's been absent for almost a month now. I, I never realized. Did something happen? Who knows, he never was a very good student. No one's surprised to see him playing hooky again. Sadness. You know something about it, don't you, sir? Me, of course not. I know only what happens within this little room. In this little room of mine. Where I will do things. Awesome things. That somewhat alluring, slightly evil smile on his face tells me all I need to know. He had a hand in this. You do know something. Sleeping pills! Huh? What are you standing around for? You're his replacement. Now count our supplies and mark down anything we're low on. I don't think that counts as an explanation. That could be. And he hasn't even called me. What? Why did you decide to become an assistant here, Miss Rarzar? Because, um, I... There we go! Is that so? What a coincidence. I think I'm starting to like you too. Though I can't say I thought much of you at first. Yes! I'm getting close to the doctor path. <laughs> my heart's racing, but I can't tell if it's love or fear for my life. <laughs> well, I think we're pretty much set in stone, although I've never played one of these. We get our finals back today between midterms and practice exams. This whole semester has been nothing but tests. Rarzar, sir, you're getting better. Keep it up. <laughs> ha, that sounds like the Gary Busey thing. How am I doing today, Gary? 
You're doing great, Gary. Then keep it up, Gary. <laughs> no, but he just says, keep it up. Today is Christmas, but Christmas is too mainstream. Because I'm a hipster. I'm a hipster chick. Oh, yeah. So I'm not celebrating, which is to say my family's Shin Buddhist. And we live in a fucking cave still. Oh, there's someone at the door. Howdy, Pelican Express here with a package for Miss Rarzar Zarintos. Sign here, please. Is it... F have a good one. I wonder what it is. I don't think I've ordered anything recently. It's from Doctor. Whoa, there's even a letter. Hmm. I greatly appreciate your hard work in the infirmary. I hope this suits your taste. Merry Christmas. You want mine? Shoot. Let's see what's in here. There's a big box and a small one. Inside the small box is a quill pen. It's beautiful. A real white bird feather. Is he really giving this to me? It looks pricey. Big one is. Huh? It looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure what people eat on Christmas. Oh my god! Is that fucking Yuya? I'm gonna eat Yuya! Oh my god! <gasps> Why? Oh my gosh. You, the me that's not the me that's speaking. The me that's only able to talk in text. And also that wind sounds horrifying. But it's raining. I'd go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. Oh well. I think I'll sleep in like a good girl instead. Oh yes, I'm a good girl. The mail won't come in this rain either. Fiddlesticks! What? <laughs> Fiddlesticks, really? Oh, Happy New Year's! How was your vacation? I hibernated. <laughs> what a shocker. <laughs> and then he sleeps again. You're still hibernate. Ing! Wake up, sir. Oh! I've said this before, but... Your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. I might go through uh, Oko-san's path as well, because this is actually a pretty interesting game, and I'm kind of curious what it's like to date that crazy bird brain. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Nope. Yay, we're at chapter three. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, by the pigeon, and for the pigeon. Okay. This year is almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday, sadly. This is the last day I have infirmary duty as well. Sadness. The doctor's not here yet. Infirmary is quiet and peaceful as always. Blah blah blah, everything's neatly made and something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtains. I'm scared. The sheets are stained brilliant red at the foot of the bed sits a wash basin it's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers in the bottom the blood on the bed is still th this is the students who disappeared after going to the infirmary yuya that mysterious smile I, I have to get out of here i have to tell someone i need to report it to the police anyway i need to get away i need to get here before he you're early today, Miss Rarzar. Uh-oh. You're rather pale. Here, why don't you lie down? The doctor, this blood. Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student. I hadn't cleaned up yet. Please pay it no mind. What the fuck? The, the door is locked. Going home so soon. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. A freaking bird's gonna kill a human. Indeed it won't. After all, there's so many bad little boys and girls who try to leave before their examinations are over. Like you. The doctor, you. You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments. Do you really need to ask that? After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I, I would never. Don't tell me you've forgotten already. Just at the start of this semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. Brought back the ID card of... One of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped it by accident. You really helped me out then. We can't leave things like that lying around now, can we? <coughs> and Yuya, what did you do to Yuya? Oh, I thought you'd figured that out already. He's in here, Miss Farzar. 
Hi, in here. The doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my stomach. I knew it. I ate him. The... The big one is... Huh? It looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey. I'm not sure. Yes. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body. So we don't really know where exactly he is, do we? <laughs> that you can't be. No, no. How did he taste? I was worried he might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do for you to throw him out. But that was you, yeah. Ah, that's a beautiful face, Miss Rarzar. I've longed so dearly to see that face. You could tell from the start that I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again, very assertively. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Is that really it? You knew I planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? But I loved you! I know I want to say, but I, my tongue is like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside, I love the doctor. I'm afraid that I desire a more intellectual individual for my life companion. But it would be cruel to ignore your earnestness, and so I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pity, and I think I want to keep you by my side forever. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me, so why can't I move? And so this is what I decide. I shall preserve only your head. It will be easily stored. Of course, I can't let such a rare sample slip by. So I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry, you won't go to waste. I will make sure to examine your insides most intimately. Suddenly, he has a cleaver in his left hand. Wing? But how... How is a bird doing all this? You have chased after death a little most diligently. I suppose you're too afraid to speak now. For a moment, my vision shifts the ceiling. The wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly. The world tilts soaked in red. And so my life came to an end. That was an amazing ending. Okay, we're going to do one more path. We're going to do Oko-san's path. That. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welp. Welp. <laughs> that was an amazing ending.